Tykables has a lot going on this year, the first diapers are now available. Animus slowly went on pre-sale at the end of March 2023. So you could order and then receive the delivery a few weeks later. Since it is a manufacturer from the USA, the diapers appear first on the US market. Ordering from Germany is difficult and expensive, if it is offered at all. To Europe, and therefore Germany, they come months later, if at all. In this case, the diaper made it to us as well, more on that later. Let's first take a look at what this new diaper is that has appeared. It is printed on the front with animals, the style of which is somewhat reminiscent of cartoon characters for children, because they are drawn quite simply. The zone for gluing is most printed on the front. There, the motifs also have a colorful background. So the name is probably a kind of leech language for animals. It sounds more exciting this way, because at first glance you have to think about what exactly is meant. Between the legs, so in the area under the adhesive zone to the back of the buttocks, it seems to be printed more discreetly, or it is white, unfortunately, you cannot see that exactly in the pictures. Anyway, the motifs are in front and on the butt, they're also again a landscape with animals. The sides stand out striped again and go to the upper edge, which then sticks out in front with a bright yellow in the eye. There are several things that stand out about this diaper, each package contains multiple designs. This exists in dry nights and I've seen it before in ABDL diapers like NRU Playdays or Peak Abu. It's not a completely new idea, but it's still rare. I can count the diapers that do it on one hand. Also new is the material. Contrary to the masses, this diaper uses a textile-like film on the outside instead of plastic. I already introduced you to a cotton diaper in diaper news number 3 there are some changes in this area in 2023. Other than that, we have a wetness indicator that is supposed to get paler when the diaper gets wet. Waddle cut. I would interpret as a wide cut, so a clearly noticeable diaper between the legs, so you probably can't close it completely when the diaper has become full and heavy. 7.5 liters of absorbency is what it's supposed to withstand, according to ISO lab measurements. Compared to the diapers tested so far, this would put it about at the top of the range. In the manufacturer's store, the first two sizes M and L are already sold out, only XL is currently available. $45 is charged per pack, with 10 pieces of content, that's a proud $4.50 and converted into euros 40.82 euros per pack and 4 euros and 8 cents each. Things look much better on the European market, here, all sizes are in stock and available at a price of 34 euros and 90 cents per pack, so you can get a diaper for 3 euros and 49 cents. That's still a hefty price when you consider that flagship products like Critter Caboose cost significantly less at around €2.74 more than a 27% markup here. And that's just the price. So far I can't judge whether the Tykables is actually better. So for cotton, you're still paying a significant premium. If you're looking or have to look at the money, you probably won't be happy here. On the other hand, this diaper is the cheapest so far with cotton. Yes, the market is manageable, but it's still an interesting fact that I think is worth mentioning. The well-known Little Kings costs €39.95 per pack of 10 with a unit price of €3.995, it already cracks the €4 Euros mark due to rounding alone. Thus, the surcharge to the critter caboose from my previous example is a whopping 46%. While that is definitely too much from my point of view, it looks better with the Animus. I'm thinking about buying a package of it to do a practical test. It would certainly be exciting. If only to see what level these diapers are at nowadays. Cotton has a bad reputation, which mainly comes from the medical diapers. What do you think of this new release? Would you like to see a field test and maybe even buy the diaper? Write it in the comments. That was the diaper news. Feel free to subscribe to my channel to not miss any videos around diaper news or tests in the future.